That's right, we're going to review the Uncle Grandpa first episode. This is Uncle Grandpa. Those of you barely remember the show now, trust me. Those of you barely know the show existed and you are probably watching in Steven Universe right now. Oh, or Clarence Cartoon or the Powerpuff Girls. Oh wait, nobody watches that. Maybe Reaper of Bears? Yes. Anyways, now screw around. Here's the characters. Yeah, Pizza Steve is one that can talk and acts cool. Uncle Grandpa does weird stuff all the time. And his job is to help kids and when they're in trouble. And Belly Bag likes to pull stuff out of his... Well, belly bag. Not to mention, weird stuff always happens to the kids all the time, and Uncle Grandpa always takes them in these so called insane adventures. Wacky, weird stuff happening. Especially the monsters. And always teach lots of children lots of lessons at the end. Like the belly thing. This is pretty much some running gang of the serious areas that he helps out the children, not all the time, but also do shen wacky shenanigans. And there's Mr. Gus. Which is the only best character in the show that doesn't give a crap. <laughs> what is going on? Are you happy now? Yeah. There's some other ridiculous characters like Frankenstein. Oh yeah, realistic flying tiger, which is already a normal character. Tiny Miracle, which is also my favorite character in the show. Voiced by Tom Kenny. Also, these episodes are just insanely crazy. In short, you will find Uncle Grandpa annoying the way he talks. The way he yells all the time. Trust me, he is pretty annoying. But this is the only way I could start off my 599 episode, so we're finally getting close to 600 before this year ends, actually. Not to mention the show can be annoyingly crazy funny to watch. Not to mention idiotic pawns. And the animation just looks a little bit messy at times. And it just cuts them to being 2D and use a realistic flying tiger. 
and a bit lazy, just not, I just use an animation, like a realistic flying tiger fired out rainbows. Get it? Because it's funny. I'm sorry, There's no other words to say how, how insanely crazy the show is. It's just insane. It's just bunch of nonsensical, crazy, see stupid stuff and dumb stuff happening all the time in the show. I guess kids will enjoy watching this. They said there's not much else to watch when it would take them like weeks and weeks or months until they do new episodes of Reaper of Bears. There's, the show is actually not terrible. It's not the worst. It's on the okay side of insanity-ness. It's just weird, especially the opening. I do like most of the characters, unlike Pizza Steve, that tries to act cool but fails at it. And it's the character that's kind of one of my least favorite ones, Alvin. That's always bossy in this episode. I won't say too much if you want to watch the entire series on your own on this website called kidscartoon.com. But this kid, this kid learns his lesson at the end. Because of the evil emperor that kind of looks like Ming, which I won't show too much, like I said. <laughs> Never mind. But I do know it's Delight. <laughs> I said, annoyingly insane. There's no word to describe how cuckoo nutty and other word for it. No worries, Downright insanity into this show. So, other words. This ain't the worst show i ever seen. I find it on the okay side. I do like it, but it's just a little too nutty. But I guess if you do like watching Uncle Grandpa, good for you. But those of you don't like it, I prefer you'll be watching and some other older cartoon networks like Dexter's Laboratory or Samurai Jack or Foster's Home for Imaginary Friends. For this show, I'd rather be watching, watching a few of these episodes once a week. Just once a week. That's Pretty much it. This is just downright crazy. I don't have one. But all I can say is, it is worth watching, I guess. If you're are drunk on A and W soda, yeah, I had to repeat that same line for the last video. But it can be cool at times, if you like this sort of show. Cakes, don't you? Sure, I guess. Well, there you go. Okay. 
Speaking of animation, that's what I'm going to talk about next in my other video later on. So, the voice acting is not not too annoying, but just a little, a little annoying. But this is an alright show. But it kind of breaks the fourth wall a little bit too much. It would get all pretty fast. The color on the TV. We gotta erase this. So on the count of three, go grab your erasing hammers. One, two. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk about. I'll tell them my 600 video, mites. See you then. Either like and subscribe, blah, blah, blah. You get the idea. Bye.